Let's uh, have a look at multiplying negative fractions. So we'll start off with uh, negative two thirds times positive four fifths. Well, negative times positive. Do the sign first. Negative times positive, negative. Notice how the negative sign is in line with the fraction bar. That's how it should be. Negative sign in line with the fraction bar. So it's negative. And we've got 2 times 4, 8, over 3 times 5, 15, right? Now, how about this? 3 times negative 1 third. That's a whole number times a fraction. This becomes a lot easier when we turn the whole number also into a fraction. So turn 3 into 3 over 1. Now, do the sign first. Positive times negative, negative. 3 times 1. 3, 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 over 3 is 1, so that's negative 1, isn't it? Or we could have done this, 3 to 3 goes once, 3 to 3 goes once, and we get negative 1 over 1, which is 1, or negative 1. Let's have a look at this one, negative 5 times negative 2 fifths. Again, we've got a whole number times a fraction. Let's turn that uh, the whole number into a fraction also. Actually, it's an integer. Always do the sign first. Negative times negative. What does that give? Negative times negative, positive. Now look at this. 5 and 5 goes once. 5 and 5 goes once. 1 times 2 is 2 over 1 times 1 is 1. Positive 2 over 1 is positive 2. So you do this one. A quarter times negative 4. Again, turn that into 4 over 1. Positive times negative is negative. These 4s can cross cancel. They leave 1s. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 1 over 1 gives negative 1. And so, you know, do these ones out. Negative times negative. So press pause and see if you can figure, the, figure these out. Negative times negative, positive. 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into that goes 5 times. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 6 goes twice. 1 times 2 is 2 over 1 times 5 is 5. So that's positive 2 fifths. This one here, press pause and see if you can get it. That's 15 over 1. And 3 goes into 6 and 15. 3 into 6 goes twice. 3 into 15 goes 5 times. Negative times positive is negative. 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. And write down the answer to this. Negative 3 quarters times 0. Well, what's anything times zero? Anything times zero is zero, isn't it? 